Hello, welcome to another How to Code Well YouTube tutorial. My name is Peter Fisher, and this is the sixth tutorial for the Docker Images and Docker Containers playlist. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on how to create a new user within a Docker container and how to connect to that Docker container with that user that we've just created. Because you may have noticed that um, the previous in the previous tutorials, the user that we're connecting to to these containers with is root. And in some cases, that's not a good thing, especially for security reasons. Uh, and, he, uh, you know, some some uh, some applications, for example, Jenkins requires you to have certain users, i.e. a Jenkins user. So in this tutorial, we're going to do that. We're going to create a, a container. We're going to create a user. We're going to log out of that container and then we're going to connect connect to that container with that user. So as always, I'm going to double check that the machine that we're running is the how to code well machine. So I'm going to do Docker machine active, which is correct. That's fine. And as always, if I do a Docker images and a Docker PS, we can see we have no images and we have no containers set up thus far. So let's go and get some. So we're going to clear the screen and run Docker run <clears throat> Docker run. Uh, minus it because we want to do it interactively and we're going to give it a name as well so name uh, is equal to we're just going to call it test for now and we want to get the ubuntu image as always ubuntu and we're going to run it against bin bash so we're going to run this download the uh, ubuntu uh, image create a container called test and then we're going to run the bin bash shell uh, so it uh, this isn't an error. It's just saying it can't find it locally as always. So then it's going to download it from the Docker uh, uh, registry. That's perfectly fine. Completely natural. This is what's happened in the last couple of videos. But as you can see here, we're in as the root user. So what I'm going to do is just clear this down so we can get to the top. And we need to create a new user in this container. So to do that, you would just use the standard um, uh, Linux or De you know the standard Debian commands for creating a user so we would do add user and we would give the user name that we want to create so in this case we're just going to create a user called Pete and we're going to press enter and this is just the standard stuff so we've created a new group and have created a new user called Pete we've even created a new directory in home Pete um, it's asking for the Unix password so this is just normal stuff um, and I'm not going to bother too much about all of this stuff. So I'm just going to press enter on all of these things and I'm going to confirm that that is correct. So I'm going to press in Y. Now notice we're still as the root here. That's fine. Uh, but if we did CD uh, slash home and then did an LS, we can see that we have the Pete directory here. And if I did an LS minus AL against the Pete directory, we can see that the Pete directory is um, owned by the user and the group of Pete. And we have uh, the, the bash bits and pieces all set up for us. So this is just the standard way of creating a user. So let's clear that down. And because I'm root, I can do SU and Pete. So I'm going to change the user to the Pete user. And that's perfectly fine. So let's exit out of that, go back into root. And then let's exit back into uh, the host machine. Now, because I exited um, from an interactive shell, the Docker, Docker container has actually stopped. So if I was to do Docker PS minus A, we are going to need to start the, the container because you can see it's exited. So Docker start, and the reason why I called it test was it's easy to just um, uh, use rather than the container ID. So Docker start test, and then Docker PS minus A, we can see that we've started that okay how do we access how do we how do we execute a bin bash command against uh, this um, this container the test container using the peat user how do we do that well um, normally let's just clear that down normally if I did docker exec uh, minus it and we want to do it against test and we want to run bin bash uh, normally, we just dive into the root user by default. So in order to um, execute a command as a different user, we need to pass in a different argument. 
So to do that, we would do docker exec minus it, but we'd also give it a minus u. And the argument that we need to give is the user that we want to connect with. So everything there is the same as the top command, apart from this minus u bit here, minus u pete. Um, so if I was to press enter, we can see that now we are connected to this uh, Docker container using the Pete user. So I'm now in as Pete. But please note we are still in the root of the file system. So if I was to do ls, we can see that we have bin, boot, uh, home, etc, all of that kind of stuff. So we're not actually in the, if I did uh, print working directory, we can see that we are in the, the root of the file system. We are not, for example, in the home directory of the Pete user. So if I did pwd, we can see that uh, that is the current working directory. So that's important to note. So when you uh, connect to a Docker container, unless you've specified, you will go into the root of the file system. Okay, so that's a, a quick tutorial on how we can change and create users in containers and then um, connect to those containers from the host machine. Uh, using those particular users that we've created. If you found this video helpful, then please do uh, give a, 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 a like so I know that uh, you found it useful. If, you've, uh, if you think that uh, others can benefit from this video, then please do share this along. Subscribe to get the next future tutorials. I try and get a tutorial or a web chat uh, out published every every week so do subscribe to get that thanks again for watching if you've got any comments then please leave them in the comment section below as always thanks for watching and i shall see you again next time thank you bye